I'm a huge superhero fan. My whole goal as a kid was to grow up and be Batman. So it's, it's pretty hilarious. And you know, I generally tend to be at the theater opening night for any of the MCU movies. So I'm, I'm really excited to be dipping into that pool finally. Help me bring supers back into the sunlight. We need to change people's perceptions about superheroes, and Elastigirl is our best play. Better than me? <clears throat> when Brad Bird, who writes and directs these movies, told me that Void is Elastigirl's biggest fan, I had to figure out in what I understood of her life, what that meant and where that came from. And to me, starting to think about identity and starting to think about the way that people in society can be othered for who they are, which is such a devastating experience. When you have a person who personifies this idea of it getting better, of belonging, that's a really big deal. And you look at Boyd and she's rocking blue hair and a side shave. You know, she's expressing that she's radical, but she is living in a time where girls like her, women like her, people like her have literally been made illegal. I really thought about her experiences as a kid, you know, realizing she had powers, realizing she was a super, and what it would have felt like when at a stage in her life the forward motion of that journey was halted. So really for me, I, I created a whole framework for her around this idea of identity and belonging. When you go in to do animation like this, you're not looking at anything. And you're not in the room having a conversation with another actor, kind of matching their tone or their excitement level. You are really making it all up as you go. And that's where I think having a director like Brad is so wonderful because he knows exactly what he's looking for. He knows the energy levels he needs. He knows the intonation that he wants. And so I brought all of my ideas into the table and he gave me so much direction. And what I think is probably the coolest at the end of it is seeing how many of the ad libs that I decided to throw in and things that I just wanted to try in the room. Uh, once I had his perspective and my perspective kind of melded together, so many of those things made it into the movie and, and that's just exciting. That, that lets me know that we were really on the same page. It was so cool getting to put this moment together for Boyd and Elastigirl. You know, these two strong, badass, cool, quirky female superheroes who have so much heart. And, and for Void to be able to sort of begin stepping into her power, you know, she's a young girl or young woman. She's been hiding who she is. So she doesn't have a perfect grasp on her power yet. And for Elastigirl to call on her and say, you, come and help me. It's, it's this really validating moment for her and she gets to stretch her wings and, and really live out this dream. And uh, it was so fun for me just because I love Holly Hunter so much. And to share this moment with her, you know, having, having two female superheroes uh, in this big sequence together felt very cool. I'm looking for all kinds of things. You know, for me, it's really story specific. And so whether that's stories about women that I don't think have been told, stories about incredible groups of people I don't think have been told, uh, animated stories that just feel fun. You know, that's a world that I'm exploring. I'm reading a lot of animated scripts right now. And it, it's work, but it really feels like play. And the whole thing has just been a really interesting endeavor. You know, I took a solid chunk of time off to just be for a second, because I'd never done that. And now getting back into that sort of process of working and looking at it from the other side feels very cool. Thank <laughs> you.